the wake of the Flint water crisis, Governor Rick Snyder is now proposing tough new standards for lead and copper in all of our drinking water. Seven investigator Jim Kurtzner is here with the proposal and how much time before these new standards are in effect, Jim? Yeah, Glenda, these will not happen overnight. Getting rid of lead pipes would happen within the next 10 years. And because of Flint and finding a lack of teeth in the lead and copper rules on the federal level, that's why this is now being proposed. Right now, there's no violation for, for exceeding lead and water. The proposal being discussed this morning in Flint. And the point here was to set, was set a higher standard faster, because that's the issue about waiting. The federal law, they're not even going to do a proposed rule until 2017. The governor's proposal includes annual testing for lead and copper in the water in all schools, all public facilities, require lead pipe disclosures in all home sales and rental contracts, public notice when a system exceeds lead action levels, and the item that will cost the most, replace all lead service lines within 10 years in all public systems. What about communities like Flint that don't have the money? Asked a Flint pediatrician who's been involved in the crisis there. You don't want to put them in the position of being fine without adequate resources having been brought, up to, brought in to bring them up to regulation. So how do we avoid that double jeopardy? The answer from the governor's staff, find the money in 10 years. There is no excuse for not being able to comply with that. These proposals now go to the state legislature where full hearings will examine all of this and pushback is expected over costs. Live in the newsroom, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, thank you much, Jim.